What's going on guys, it's Cardarts back with another video. Look guys, you guys have been DMing me and PMing me all over Facebook asking me how to go about installing the Fluent Power Trip add-on for Blender. Now I believe the original creators, which is CG Thoughts, I think they speak French, so there's a little bit of disconnect uh, where they're to install and use this uh, add-on properly. So here I am. So in the description below, I've added a link to their Gumroad so you can purchase their add-on for $29. So to get it, you just want to hit I want this and you'll be prompted to the screen so you can enter your email address and your uh, card information so you can get the download. And once that's complete, you can uh, now download it. And obviously I hid the license key so you guys cannot see this because I don't want to get in trouble for this. So uh, I think that's like a piracy law or something like that, whatever. So to download this, you want to do Fluent Power Trip 1.5, which is the latest update, which is uh, allows you to do the cloth wire, so forth and so on. And you want to hit download. And you can see that's downloading here. And all you want to do is just drag this to a folder or a you know, directory where you want it to be stored. And once you're done with that, you can just open up Blender. So here we are in Blender. To add the add-on in Blender, go to Edit, Preferences add-ons and go to install and we're gonna go to locate that file we just downloaded so mine is in the blender add-ons here it is fluent power trip and ensure you guys leave it inside the zip folder do not unzip this one so once you have it selected hit install add-on and now we can enable it by hitting this check mark here Really quick, I want to uh, show you guys something you need to do, and that's hit this drop down here and go down to the bottom where it says um, select the remesh tool, and it says mesh, right? Do not put it on quad remesh because it will not work. Leave it on instant mesh, and here it says uh, you know instant me here, so you want to click this after downloading this. So if you skip this part here, you didn't do the download install mesh, once you try to use it, it won't work. So I can hit F, which is the high key to bring up the Fluent menu. Or if you don't want to do that, you can hit N on the keyboard and go to the uh, right side here on the tab and just select Fluent. And it's the same options. F is just a quick menu, right? So if I want to use this and make uh, this surface here a cloth, I select the model, hit F, go to cloth panel, and it says how to use, and it says instant mesh path is needed. Check the preferences. So it lets you know that it's not gonna work. So if you try to select it, nothing's gonna happen. That's why I was telling you guys, go back to edit preferences and to where it says, you know, instant me, hit download instant mesh here. And once you're here, you can scroll down. I'm on a Windows, so I'm going to be using the Windows version. So it says Microsoft Windows. Download that. And you can see it's downloading here. So I can just drag this to that folder. And where we didn't unzip the Fluent Power Trip, you're going to want to ensure that you unzip the Instant Mesh Windows. You want to know why? This is what happens if you don't do it, just so... If you guys went into this, if you skip the video for some reason and you know want to know why it's not working. So we have this here. We're going to select this folder. And we're going to go to where we downloaded and uh, stored that the add-on. So here it is. Here's the in Instant Mesh Windows Zip. If I select the zip and hit Accept and I close this out. Now if I hit F once again to try to use the cloth panel, I can select the surface now and you want to hit enter so it works. But instantly you see that there's an error that says instant mesh path is wrong. Check preferences. And that lets you know that something in the preferences is incorrect. So we're going back to the preference. And what you want to do is unzip that. So we're going to go back to the file here. Click on instant mesh windows. Right click and go to extract all. And this just extracts it from the actual folder because basically the computer sees this as being locked. So we can just delete that. And now we have that open folder here. And it just needs to be able to see the executable, right? So now that we did that, now we can select this folder icon once again. And now we have a different icon here. 
So this allows us to go inside this folder and select the executable. Now hit accept. And to ensure everything's saved so we don't have to do this every time, just hit this area here, make sure auto save is on and just hit save preferences. Now we can exit this. Now if we select our mesh and we hit F, we can go down to cloth panel, select a face or multiple faces and hit enter. And quickly you'll see that it's working the way it should be. So hopefully this wasn't too confusing, you guys understood it. And if you guys like the video, please help support the channel by giving it a like, leave a comment to let me know that everything worked fine, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.